Before we jump into the details of how the integration between Procore and Matterport works, we've got to cover some prerequisites. The first thing you need to know is that you have to have a Matterport business or enterprise level account. If you don't have that yet, it's really easy to sign up. Just go to the Procore partner page and fill out the form. Next, of course, you have to have a Procore account. And if you're not an admin in your Matterport account, just go ahead and let your admin know that they should go to settings, add-ons, go down to Procore and make sure that is enabled. Now with your Procore integration enabled, you can do a couple things. One, you can upload your add-ons from your Matterport model to your Procore project. And of course, the other really cool thing you can do is create RFIs, observations, and coordination issues within the Matterport model itself to sync with your Procore project. And that's a really great way of creating a two-way line of communication and collaboration between anyone using the Procore project and the Matterport model. Now, in order to import and upload the Matterport add-ons like the Matterpack and the BIM assets to your Procore project, you need a couple things. First thing is you have to have either standard or admin level permissions on your Procore documents tool. And of course, either or both Matterpack and BIM asset add-ons have to have been ordered via your Matterport model. So now with either the Matterpack or BIM assets ready to download, instead of downloading, you can choose the export to Procore button instead. Once you tap export to Procore, a pop-up window will allow you to log into your Procore account. At this point, you select the Procore project that you want to associate with this Matterport model. And then you choose the Matterpack or BIM folder, depending on which of these assets you're uploading to your Procore project. Now that the two model and project are in sync, you can actually go into your Procore project to access the Matterport model. Simply open the connected project and search for the Matterpack or BIM files that you just exported. From here, as I mentioned before, you can create your RFIs, observations, and coordination issues. You just need to make sure that you have edit permissions in your Matterport model and standard permissions in your Procore project. In order to access these features from your Matterport model page, just go to the Matterport digital twin that is associated with your Procore project. Click on the add-ons tab, find the Procore add-on, and then click launch. Once you're in the Matterport Digital Twin itself, it's really simple to create one of these issues. Just navigate your way to where you have one of these issues, click the button, and then just click anywhere in the model where you want to add one of these tags. Depending on which tag you're placing in the Matterport Digital Twin determines what fields you have available. In this case, you can see we have title, description, and type available. This is then synchronized with the Procore project so that stakeholders can go into the project to see exactly what you have tagged. Also, as I said before, this is a two-way line of communication. So any updates made to the Procore project side get reflected in the Matterport Digital Twin side and vice versa. Anytime you create one of these tags, a deep link is associated with the Procore project. And when you click that deep link from the Procore project, you're brought into the Matterport Digital Twin exactly where that tag was placed. You can see all the information that's in the tag in the context of the digital twin itself. 